Hey guys, so what I thought would be an easy uh, putting a new uh, cow panel and rear support turned into a lot more. Uh, what was going to be a one, one video for both ended up being probably going to be two videos because a lot more rust than we want to talk about. But stick around and watch how we did. Hey guys, so in the last video, we did the A-pillar, we did the apron, all the patches, did the frame rail. Uh, in this video, we're going to replace the radiator support. This one here is all rotted out through here. It's not terrible, but I got another one, so I'm going to put it in. And we're going to replace the cowl. Now... These things commonly rot on the Mustangs. I mean, look at this thing. And this is the good side. The other side's actually worse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish repairing this A-pillar piece, which will go back in there as such. Uh, this isn't terrible, but it's got some rust in here. I wanna fix all this and fix this. So this will go back in here, and then we're going to take out the cowl, and uh, as you can see, the raised port here, it's all rotted out through the bottom too. So we're going to change this out. I have another one. Uh, we'll show you that one in just a minute. Okay, here's the raised port. I, this actually came off of my red Mustang. When I changed the front of that, I used the 14 raised support. So this one here was left over. It's still not perfect. It needs a little repair down here and repair here. That's why I didn't blast this section. I was going to cut it up and across to put a new piece on. But there's still a lot better than the one I had in the, in the Mustang now. So, you know, at a couple hundred dollars to replace this, we can fix this. It's not bad. The uh, other piece that goes in the back of this, I have that brand new. So we're in good shape. So we're gonna to, we're going to uh, make get some pieces made. We're gonna make this piece right here and this piece for now. Get the support finished, and then we're gonna take that uh, cowl out and get that repaired. What I've done here is cut a piece of metal big enough to take care of all the pitted areas here. Uh, next, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scribe it across these lines, and then I'll cut it. And then it'll be the exact replica of what's here. We'll cut the back off it and weld this thing on. Okay, now I got the cut, the piece cut. And it's ground down to be the exact replica of the edge here. What I'll do now, let that piece fall. Maybe I'll trim this back just a little bit, make it it's not quite so close to that. I don't want to be welding that close to the holes. So well, we're going to trim this back just a little bit. Okay, got the lines mar marked up where I want them to be. And it's as easy as that. Okay, I got some clamps on this, so I'm going to start cutting it and tacking it.
There's the rusty piece. Okay, we're gonna weld all this up and we'll come back. So yesterday we sandblasted the rear support Put a patch in here. Now we're gonna put a patch in here. And then this support will be good enough to put back in the car. So I made a piece. Angle down, angle up. That'll just duplicate what it is on this side. So let's get this thing cut. Okay, so I've welded my patch in. Uh, now I'm welding the front piece in this piece is this piece up here. So I'm welding that in, and if you look this way, looks like it's got a bow, it's all kind of wrinkly and stuff. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place a straight edge from one end to the other, and then I'm gonna straighten out that one in the bottom so it's straight across. So let's clamp that in, and then we'll pry it up to get it straight. I'll sit you up in the tripod. Okay, so I clamped the edges of the raised support in place, put a straight edge on it, and as you can see, that gap in the middle is what we want to get rid of. So we're going to pull it up and weld it accordingly. What I'll do when I pull it up, I'll have to clamp it. So we'll grab another set of clamps. Let's get a set with a point on them, something else. Okay, so I pulled it up so it's straight. Put a weld on it right there. Okay, we got all this welded across straight. This arc is supposed to be there. Uh, I gotta put a couple holes in here. We got to do that, so we gotta get some holes in there. We can weld that up. We'll grind it all down and uh, that'll be good to go. So we got this all welded on. I welded these from the bottom. It was easier to drill them out. We're gonna grind all the welds down, clean them all up. Drilled the holes for the uh, 
the clips to go into. Uh, and this is pretty set, as you can see. It's all welded nice uh, and it's straight. That's all we need. So we're gonna clean those things up and then we're gonna tear this one off. Okay, so now we got the radius support uh, repaired and ready to go in. We're gonna take this one off. Now, when I put the apron in, I didn't weld this side on at all. So that's easy enough. Uh, what I wanna do is take this side off, which is about three welds up here. Then there's a line of welds down here, which will go on to this apron, this apron over here. We're gonna take this off a half millimeter, half inch uh, or 13 millimeter. Take it off of the arms down here. Gonna repair this one and get this support off here. We're gonna save this support because there's still some valuable stuff on it. These things don't come with a new support. So we'll save this in case I need another support for another car along the way. And we'll save the uh, center support and we'll have all these parts in case we ever need them next time. But for this one, we've, we've already repaired a, uh, a raised support from my, my red 68. We're gonna cut these off. We're gonna I'll show you, I'll get these off, get this off, get this thing out of here, and we'll get to it. So the uh, rear support's out. What we got here is a little bit of rot. Now, I could buy this piece, it's about $100 to get it shipped here. Or I could fix this little bit of rot, which I measured it, It's four, this is 14 gauge steel. And there you go, I got a piece of 14 gauge, cost me 12 bucks. And you know, obviously I'm not gonna use a whole bunch of this, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, fix what you can. Save what money you can. You know, I can't put everything in this car brand new, even though I'd like to. But, you know, it costs a fortune. I don't have it. So, what we got to do is we're going to fix this one little piece. I'm going to cut it right around this little bend here. And I'm going to weld in a new piece of this 14 gauge up here into it. So, I cut this piece. Of the 14 gauge it's got a bevel right here so i cut it on the side to relieve it so it would bend easier here and now i'm gonna cut this piece out and weld this piece in Got the hole cut up, cleaned up. That's best you can anyway. There's the new piece. Uh, we give a little gap between the panels so that there's a place for the weld to go. And we're gonna weld this thing in. That's why I did the uh, Jeep frame. I'm gonna, put a, I'm gonna put a cutting wheel in between to give it some space. And I'll attack the edges.
So there you go. Patch all put in. Uh, we're in good shape for that now. Uh, I so I did a test fit where the radiator support's gonna go. I'm gonna put holes in here, the three here and three here. Then it's welded on the back and it's welded on the side too. So we're gonna put holes in both sides, get that prep to weld on the panel. And then we're gonna put the uh, race port on. So I'm looking at this side. Uh, what I might do, pop some holes in here, right where the factory holes were, and then we'll just weld it in from the back. So let's get the uh, holes put in this thing and then we'll come back. Okay, we got the holes all drilled out. So they're drilled out there and there, right about where the factory ones were. Uh, we welded up the bottom of this apron. Uh, what we're gonna do now, take these out, this out, and these out. They don't belong here. Uh, what does is this. That's, that's for the uh, washer bottle, it's a little bag. Uh, probably just leave it in there, but these other things don't belong in here. So we're gonna clean them up, we're gonna weld up the holes that they made. And then we'll put the race board on. The next thing I want to do, while well, it's still easy, is fix that mess. This one's not so bad, but still could be better. Uh, there's grease fittings on there, that's fine. But uh, at least put, you know, something on there so you can plug it up or make it round. Those aren't even round. That one ain't. And this one here is terrible. So... I'm gonna cut that out, make it a pat, make a patch for it, and then put a round circle there so I can get to the grease fitting, and it won't look so uh, gross. That's terrible. But let's do those next. So this one was an ugly one. Uh, what I did is I cut it out, made a square. Now what I want to do, get out of the camera view. Whoops! Make sure you're still in view. Okay, what I want to do is mark the center of this uh, grease fitting. So what I'm going to do is mark across it this way. I'll put a mark up here, mark down here, and I'll mark it across. Okay, now I have a measurement from this way and this way to where that center is. Now when I put the piece in, Okay, so I marked the edges. I'll take a straight edge. Okay, so I've marked, where are we? There we are. I marked the piece, crossed, and that's where the center of that grease fitting will be. So I'll put a hole in right there, and uh, then we'll just put a plug over it. Okay, here's the patch for the passenger side. That ugly hole now will get filled with a nice round hole. Got a couple magnets holding the metal in place, and now we're going to weld it up. Okay, yeah, that's all welded up. Now we're going to grind it down smooth. And 
and there you go. Nice round hole. And you can still get to the grease fitting. Uh, this one here, I'll have to grab my burn machine from work and I'll round that one to match. Uh, the other one is an inch and three eighths holes, so we'll make this one match. Okay, let's get this thing in place. Okay, I want to stick some holes on the end so I can weld them onto the frame rails. Mark the frame, put some holes up here. And down below. Just take it back off again. Good.
Okay, those are clamped nice and tight down here. Everything's tight here, it's square. Uh, we're gonna get the welding. All right, so we've got the uh, raised port welded in. Say it's welded along the, the aprons, onto the frame. Uh, down the bottom here, I didn't do the bottoms yet. We'll get those, maybe when I get it up in the air, it'll be a little bit easier to get to. So guys, this is the end of part one of this video. Uh, we got the raised port in. Uh, it's going to be a lot more work to get the cowl in. There's a lot more firewall repair to do. Uh, we'll show you it all in the next video. But for now, uh, again, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, new subscribers, old subscribers, thank you very much. So if you guys enjoyed this, uh, hit that uh, like, subscribe, notifications, leave me a comment, share with your friends. Uh, stick around another minute. I got a little quickie to show you. Uh, for my upcoming project, which was starting this week. Well, as you know, spring is here and summer is on its way. So a project I had planned is now just time to start. Uh, original plan is as I built this uh, Ultima Ute was to do the same thing to this Honda Accord. So, starting this Saturday at Tri-State Cruisers in Pomfret Center, Connecticut, we're going to start showing this car. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start on the first, this Saturday, marking the marks of where the cuts are going to be made. Uh, and that's going to be it. And we're going to show the car as pre-cut. Uh, throughout the summer, every Saturday... I'm going to spend my Saturday working on this car. We're going to cut it to basically be like this. Uh, I have some different ideas, some different designs. We're going to change it up a little bit and I'm going to make another U. We'll lower it. We'll do all the same things. Uh, a lot of work. We're going to spend about six hours a week. Every Saturday I'm going to spend on it. And... It's, the body's kind of rough. It's pretty wavy. Got a lot of dents in it. But it's all there. And it runs. Uh, we're going to say we're going to cut the back off, take the seats out, do all the things we need to do. And by the end of summer, hopefully we'll get a fresh coat of paint on this thing and it'll be done. So stay tuned. If you're interested in watching a Ute be built, uh... It'll be on the channel once a week. Maybe not a very long video, depending on how much I can get done in a day. But it'll be there. Uh, if you're in Connecticut, uh, Pomfret Center, uh, Route 169, Route 101, come check it out. Say hey. Uh, and watch this car get built. Let's say I'm not sure what's going to happen to it. I'm not sure everything. I've kind of got it in my mind what I want to do. And uh, come see it and watch this thing get built. So we'll be there every Saturday, depending on the weather, at the junction of 169 and 101 in Pomfret Center, Connecticut, to cut this car up. So come check it out.